Here are four possible explanations for why Prigozhin's plane came down. The first is a bomb. This footage, confirmed by BBC Verify, shows the plane falling to earth rapidly. This could have been caused by a bomb. And based on tracking data from Prigozhin's plane, it had been in Moscow and hadn't flown for over a month, potentially making access to the plane easier. Though tracking technology can be switched off, it is probable, if not certain, that the plane hadn't moved. If not a bomb, then it could have been a surface-to-air missile. Russia certainly has the capacity, and Reuters is reporting that two US officials have told them it was a surface-to-air missile, though the US has not commented publicly on the cause. Another explanation is it was a missile from a fighter jet. Prigozhin's plane came down near a village called Kuzhenkino, north of Moscow. 20 kilometers away is the Migalovo Air Base. A fighter could have reached the plane very quickly. But while Prigozhin's plane's final flight could be tracked on publicly available services, fighter jets don't allow this type of tracking. We don't know if a jet was involved. The final explanation is that this was an accident. Prigozhin's plane was an Embraer Legacy 600. The models had one accident in more than 20 years' service, and that wasn't caused by mechanical failure. Also, Prigozhin's plane was cruising at 28,000 feet, the least likely time in a flight for a plane to have mechanical or structural problems. All of which means that we don't know why the plane came down. It may have been an accident, but it's much more likely that Prigozhin's plane was brought down deliberately.